Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. This is a dream from Brett Creamer. The name of it is Tsunami on the East Coast. And I'm reading right now. I had a dream where I knew we were on vacation with all our family members in a condo on the beach. I can't explain why, but I felt like the East Coast somewhere, maybe between Virginia and Florida. The front of the house had tall, huge glass windows, and the house faced the water. You know how we like that. <laughs> I was standing on the deck, looking out at the ocean, when way off at the distance, I could see a dark line across the horizon. It did not look normal. As I watched that dark line, it started to grow in thickness very rapidly. <laughs> I remembered being mesmerized by that line as it was getting bigger and bigger by the second. At first, I thought it was a squall line. Well, I've been boating for years, and I've seen a squall line before, so. But this was quite different, and it was moving much faster than a storm. When it came into view, though, I realized it was a wall of water. It was coming at the beach house towards us with intense speed. I ran into that house and started screaming to my family to warn them of what was coming. They all laughed at me. I couldn't believe it. I stood there in shock because no one cared about what was about to happen. Well, anyway, that was weird. In reality, it was already too late to do anything about it anyway. That wall of water looked like the wall of water in the movie, Day After Tomorrow. Now, that dream was from Brett Kramer. Now, this is Pat Love and her two cents. Are you listening? There's a scripture that says, When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. You know, you really need to be prayed up. All of us need to stay close to God right in through here. Because what we don't realize is we have allowed so many, so many to the point where a lot of the enemy that we're worried about coming across the sky, coming in through the, uh, the airports and overseas and all that, they're already here, you guys. They are already here. Here, You know, there are some dreams I don't even tell because I'm afraid that if I tell some dreams, they'll give the enemy ideas as to another way they can attack us from within. We have to be very careful. Sometimes the news talks too much and they give out information. It's almost like telling the enemy, oh, you can get us this way and you can get us that way. But you know, because we've been so secure for so many years, we tend to think that we are impenetrable and we're not. Danger could hit us like a ton of bricks right between the eyes before we could blink. And even the law enforcement and Homeland Security and, and all the, the, the government heads are scratching their butts and, 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 and scratching their heads trying to figure out, oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Well, guess what? Had we not been so cocky, had we not been so arrogant, we might have been more prepared. Had we taken heed to some of the warnings that this country had received down through the last 40 years, we might have been a lot more secure now. But as a result of a lot of cocky thinking and arrogance and, and entitlement attitudes, we have allowed some things because what can they do to us? We're America. Ooh. 
Oh, they can do a whole lot. And that's why some dreams I won't talk about. Because if they hadn't think if they hadn't thought to do some things, some of your dreams will give them ideas. And I'm not giving them any ammo. I'm very cautious about what I say on the internet. And you should be too. We all need to pray. We all need to watch and pray, you guys. This is not playtime. Have you been hearing about all these shootings going on? There are a lot of shootings. Now, I don't care if they look like uh, uh, Anglo-American, white as the driven snow, perfectly speaking English people. If they were born and raised in this country, it doesn't mean that they have not been converted to Islam. Think about it now. People don't have to come from another country to do us harm. Some of the people doing us harm right now could have ancestors that were born in this country. So we really have to watch way more carefully. The ones that can do us the most harm are the ones that look like us, talk like us, quack like us, walk like us. The ones that are right here among us are the ones we need to be looking at. I'm done. We need to watch and pray, you guys. Not just pray. Watch and pray. And look, when you're out in public, you watch people. I don't care if they look like they could be your mama or your papa or your grandpapa. If they're acting funny or look a little weird or they've got some kind of a, of a contraption or a, a container that looks kind of out of character, you report it. Keep your eyes open, you guys. We have to work, too, to protect our homes. We can't just depend on them and them and them. No, we have to participate in this as well. And pray because God can open your eyes and bring somebody to your attention and you look at them and you get an alarm in your spirit. And God can show you exactly what they plan to do before they even get off the ground. And you can call a policeman and say, check them out. And you could save lives. We all need to be part of it. God bless you as you seek God. God bless you with safety. God bless you with divine supernatural protection. And God bless you with an extra eye to see. Amen.